Hey everybody, it is me, your girl Adrienne with Watch Me Eat, and guess what? I reached 100 subscribers! Yay! I'm so excited. And before I can make the 100 subscriber video, I got two more. So I got 102 subscribers. Doing them. Okay, no. Uh, so I really appreciate everybody who shares the same passion that I share, and that is watching other people eat or just simply eating yourself. My hair, I'm in the middle of putting faux locks in my hair. So, like the middle is done, but the front and back isn't. There's a couple of things I'm going to talk about on this video, uh, but excuse me, I am going to be eating. One big thing is that I have been craving to walk my own path. Like, I have always had a passion to help other people, to encourage, to motivate, and to inspire other people. And um, I play these um, motivational videos to these kids every morning. Oh, let me tell you what I'm eating. So much. This is not a vegetarian meal today. Certainly not vegan. So I'm sorry in advance. And I'm on the floor because my desk was just a mess. Kettle cooked Greek town gyro chips. By Lace. I never had them before. Let me see if I can give you a close up. Never had them before, but I decided I'll try it with my um, Subway. I did go vegetarian with my Subway. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Hold on. I think I like them. Oh my goodness, I did, like, they do have a hint of gyro taste. Now, I don't know if you like me or, I like a lot of black olives on my subway. The people fixing the sandwich act like, except for this one boy the other day, they act like it's like their black olives. But, God gave me a fairly decent amount. And the black olives don't really taste that good, to be quite honest. I think I might take them off. How can black olives go bad? I don't know. I'm going to try it with it. However, I like crunchy stuff on my sandwich. So, yeah. He toasted it, but it doesn't even feel toasted. He's soft. If I can get you a close-up. Closer, upper. Kind of not. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I've only liked vegetarian subs from Subway lately because, I don't know, something about that meat sitting there. I don't know how long that meat has been there. I'm going to get back to what I was saying. I 
and I'm drinking orange Fanta. <clears throat> I actually just wanted juice, but the closest thing they had to what I like was light Minute Maid lemonade, so I didn't want that. But anyway, like I've always had a general love for people. So I want to encourage them, let them know they can do whatever they want to do. And I feel like I was doing that, but I knew like I wanted that I wanted to do more. Like, um, I had this plan of like motivating everyone, youths included, young, young people and old people alike. So, um, My phone is ringing. So, the other day, oh, let me let me show you how good this all looks. Mhm. Mm the other day I was um, trying to encourage this girl who was talking about she wanted to, I don't know, I think it was be a baker. And, you know, I'm like, well, you can do it. You can do whatever you want to do, et cetera, et cetera. And then her little sister said she wanted to be an actor, actress. And, of course, going through the same spill. And then the little girl, the younger girl, she's not a little girl. She's a young lady turned to me and said, well, are you doing what you want to be doing? My phone is buzzing. And, like, in a way, I almost, like, I choked, and I was like, yeah. Because in a way it is, like, everything that I'm doing in my life right now is what I pursued. It's not just, like, I found the job in the paper or online, and I'm just happy to get a paycheck. No, I like I pursued these things. I wanted to do these things and I'm getting money from. But is it the fullest of all of what I want to do? No. However, it's very important uh to for me, like I had to go and talk to a couple of people about this because I'm like, dang, I got owned by this little girl. <laughs> um She's about 16 years old. And a couple of people who understand life's journey was like, you know, because I thought it was a very fair question. I thought it was a good question she asked because we can preach, have what you want, be what you want, think it, believe it, achieve it all day. But are we manifesting that? Because people are looking. She's looking. I may, um, because I write them to school in the morning. So, I play motivational videos or soundtracks to them every morning, which is great. But she's expecting to see results. Because if she doesn't see results, then to her, it's just another hype music you know it's just more hype music or it's just another fairy tale so that really stuck with me you know like I don't have any children of my own but I'm so happy that I came across her because that made me accountable to somebody And I never had to be accountable to anybody. No one. Except for God. But as far as somebody looking up to me and following in my footsteps, that, you know, my nieces and nephews to a certain extent, but 
Well, I don't think my nephews looked at anything I did. <laughs> and then my nieces, they're mainly with their mom. So I didn't really have to live my life for anyone else. So now this young lady is coming to my life. And now I'm, I have a why. So it's important to me to actually step out even further and take some risks. 